What's up guys? I'm Jim Ansel. This is Real Deal Outdoors. Today we got another Mystery Tackle Box unboxing. All right guys, so today what we're gonna be doing is unboxing the MTB Pro Bass Box for the month of January 2020. I'm really looking forward to getting into this box, man. It's busting at the seams. Uh, there's some extras in there that I ordered that came with it this month, so there's some, some different stuff in there. But it's the first box of the new year, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what they've sent us this month. So before we tear into this thing, I'd like to thank Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring this video. You know, they've been gracious enough to send me this box for the last several months. It's been a great experience working with Mystery Tackle Box. You know, the, the stuff that they send every month is great. You know, there's always some great stuff in there, stuff that I always use, and there's also stuff in there that I've never used before, and it's fun to try that stuff out. So if you've been sitting on the fence about the whole monthly tackle service thing, I definitely recommend you guys checking it out. I think it's worth it. I think it's well worth the money for sure. And like I say in every video, it forces you to step outside the box because you're gonna get a lot of stuff that you might not necessarily pick out for yourself in the tackle shop. You know, that's one thing about being an angler. You never wanna get too comfortable. It's always important that we continue to try new things because you never know what you're missing out on. Anyway, guys, let's rip into this box and see what they sent this month. All right, guys, so let's get right into this thing and see what we got this month. Okay, so like I said, the first few things that we're gonna run into in this box are some extras that I ordered. And this is something cool that Mystery Tackle Box does. Uh, you can go on shopcarls.com and if you're not a member of Carl's Club, you can order stuff and have it sent with your Mystery Tackle Box. If you have a Mystery Tackle Box subscription, of course. Uh, what that does for you is it gives you free shipping. Of course, if you're a Carl's Club member, you're gonna get free shipping anyway all the time, but this is a really great way if you're gonna order some lures to save yourself a couple bucks. All right, so first off in here, I've got the Baby Bull Shad from Mike Buka and Catchco. Uh, these things are really great, man. They sent me a couple of these for an episode of The Juice a while back, and they were in the Threadfin Shad color pattern. Uh, I really wanted to get one in this bone color pattern because the white ones work really well around here. So I'm looking forward to getting this guy out and using it. Uh, this is definitely one of those lures, guys. If you haven't checked these out yet, I certainly recommend that you do. Not only can you get these guys at Carl's Bait and Tackle now, I think you can get them now at Dick's and a couple of other stores. I've seen them popping up here and there, but definitely make sure you grab yourself some of these and try them out because they're fantastic. All right, next up, we've got some Guggen baits in here. You know, we got a couple of packages here of the Bandito Bugs and some more natural style colors. Um, Bandito Bugs, guys, I can't keep enough of these things on hand. The bass love these things. They're one of the best bug style baits that have come out in recent years. No matter what your feelings are about the Guggens, uh, their baits are fantastic, guys. You know, if you're not a big Guggen fan, don't let that deter you from trying these lures because you're missing out, I'm telling you. So certainly do yourself a favor, grab you some of these things, Texas rig them, do whatever you wanna do with them. You can use them as trailers. They're just great lures, guys. All right, moving on along. Here's another great lure in the Guggen bait line. These are the Trench Hogs. Uh, this one's an Okeechobee Craw. I love these things as well. If you're looking for a cool lure with a bigger profile, this is a great way to go. These look a lot like a bush hog. You know, they've got these long appendages that come off the top of them and they kick really good. Tons of action. All right, guys, so that does it for the extras. Now we're getting into the meat and potatoes of our actual box here. All right, the first thing we come to, guys, just like always, we've got our bait card here. This tells you what the particular baits are that you've got in your box, as well as what the value of each one of those are. This is real handy to use as you go through your box. It lets you know what you're getting. Also gives you an idea of the value of your box overall. All right, moving on along. Next up here, we've got our dibble. Okay, the dibble is something that they send out in every box. What this is, is it's like a little pamphlet and it gives you tips and tricks. Sometimes there's stuff in here about the particular lures that they've sent you in the box. Uh, but it's species specific, so if you've got an ice fishing box or you've got an inshore box or if you've got a pan fishing box or something like that, you're going to get a dibble that gives you tips for those specific species and techniques. So this is really cool. I always tell people I definitely recommend that you read this. All right, moving on along. All right, we've got our sticker for the month. This month is certainly appropriate. The Super Bowl is getting ready to come up pretty soon. And it's also a play on words. You know, you catch a big bass, you call it a football. So clever little design. But this is something that they do every month. They send you a different sticker. Uh, it's unique, sets the box apart. I think it's really cool. It's a cool touch. You can throw these onto your tackle boxes or whatever to spice things up. Always love getting my stickers. All right, next up, we're getting into the baits. So first up, I'll grab this big old fat swim bait here. All right, guys, so this is something a little different for me. This is the boot tail from Castaic. It says this thing comes loaded up with katana hooks and it's four inches long. I see one thing here that I actually really like about this guy 
It's got an extra eyelet down here on the bottom so you can put a treble hook on it. That's kind of cool. It looks like it's a silver and black color, kind of a shad pattern, but the design of the lure actually looks like a trout design. So that's kind of weird. You know, we don't have trout around here, but I don't think that's going to make any difference. The bass are going to eat this thing anyway. And soft body swim baits with the boot tails like this work really well here. So, okay, on the back, it says that the color pattern is blue shad. I don't know about that. I think they might be a little confused because this lure looks very silver to me maybe that's a misprint or a mistake from the factory but it's a cool looking lure i think it's going to work i think it'll definitely catch bass here i'll look forward to getting this out and at least giving it a shot again guys this is something different it's probably something i wouldn't have picked up at the tackle shop but it's going to force me to step outside the box and use something that maybe i'm not so comfortable using and that's what this is all about all right let's move right on along all right, the next thing we've got here, this right here is the Shiver Crank from Carl's Amazing Baits. Carl's makes some great baits. For a store brand bait, they make some really nice stuff at a really cheap price. You know, this it's very economical for you guys to get these lures. You know, the designs, the colors, they're always on point. It says this particular one dives six to 10 feet. This is the perfect size crankbait for striper fishing and bass fishing around here. I caught a ton of striper on lures just like this this year. You know, it doesn't say the exact name of the color pattern on here anywhere, but it's a chartreuse shad kind of a color pattern with a black back. And that color always works around here, especially with the dirty water that we've got. I'm definitely not gonna have any problems catching fish with this thing. Uh, I'm really excited to add this to my tackle box. You know, ever since I've been getting the mystery tackle box, man, I've built up quite the collection of crankbaits. And this will be another good one to add to the collection. All right, moving on. Okay, so the next thing we've got here is a jerk bait. This is the XRM80 from Reaction Strike. It says that it's 0.65 ounces, it dives two to four feet, and is 3.2 inches long. You know, that's pretty small for a jerk bait. This will this will be one of the smallest jerk baits that I have. So what'll be cool about this is I'll be able to catch probably more fish with this, uh, a lot smaller fish than I typically catch with my jerk baits. Another thing that's cool about a jerk bait is that it gets right down into the water column where the fish are and it suspends. You know, this time of year when it's cold outside, the more hang time that you get out of a lure, the better meaning the longer it sits in the water column, the better chances you have of getting a strike. Slow moving baits and baits that hang for a long time. Those are what you wanna throw this time of year. The bass are more sluggish in that colder water. That doesn't mean that they're not gonna eat. You know, I hear a lot of guys all the time talk about how bass won't eat when it gets cold out like this and they just stop fishing. They're missing out guys. The bass will absolutely eat. You just gotta present them something that they think is worth their while because if they're gonna expend the energy, they want it to be worth their while. But I'm really happy to get another jerk bait to add to the collection. I don't have a whole lot of jerk baits. I'm not a big jerk bait fisherman, but I'll certainly take this bad boy out and I'll try it. All right, so moving on along. All right, next up. Now this I like. What we've got here is a finesse jig from Mollux. It's called the Nano Jig. It says it's a signature series. It's got three different anglers down here. I assume that they helped develop this particular jig. The weight is 3 16 of an ounce. It looks like it's in an Okeechobee Craw color pattern. Yeah, so it says the color pattern on this is Blue Craw. And there's a little bit of writing back here. It says the Nano is a power finesse jig for scattered cover and open water presentations. So bass jig fishing is one of those things that I haven't been real big into. Uh, I've, I've only gotten into it the last few years. I've started throwing bass jigs this last few years and I've been catching much bigger fish than what I typically do. I've always been a soft plastic guy and the soft plastics get you the numbers. Um, I've, I've had tons of success with soft plastics, but ever since I've started using jigs, man, the quality of the fish that I've been catching has definitely increased. This particular jig is a finesse jig, so this is probably gonna catch more numbers. You're probably gonna catch more fish with this than you would with some of those larger jigs. But jigs in general, for me, over the last couple of years have been very productive. I think this is gonna be perfect to team up with, with like a TRD from Z-Man. Uh, one of those real buoyant soft plastics that stands straight up in the air. I think that's going to pair up really well with this. So yeah, I can't wait to get it out there and give it a shot. You know, this is one of those things I was talking about in the beginning of the video. Mystery Tackle Box always sends you at least a couple of things that you know you're definitely going to use. Uh, and this is one of those things. All right, guys, next up. This is another one of those things. This is the TRD Hog from Z-Man. I'm definitely going to use these bad boys. This is a Ned Rig lure. And the Ned Rig for me this year has been my most productive rig. I just did a test tank Tuesday where we talked about the Sakoshi bug from 10,000 fish. And these lures are a lot like the Sakoshi bug. They're very buoyant. They're very durable. You know, you put these things on a Ned Rig head and they stand straight up in the water. And the durability is unbelievable. Like I stated in that video I did about the Sakoshi bug, I could throw that thing all day long 
you can catch tons of fish on it and by the end of the day you can still probably pull that thing off the hook throw it in the box and use it again that's how durable these things are so let's open up the bag and we'll check this bad boy out okay yeah man this is going to be perfect on the ned rig you can see it's got these two appendages right here it's got six legs three on either side and it's ribbed so if you want to dip this thing in scent it's going to hold that scent a whole lot better i'm sure those two appendages on the top are going to give this tons of action these things look very thin and they're just going to flail back and forth it's going to look really good see so yeah guys this is one of those lures that i guarantee is going to work really well i'm glad they sent me these i definitely need some more ned rig lures man these are going to be a lot of fun to try out all right we got a couple more things in here. So this right here is the baby Uber Shad from Excite Bait. It says on here that they're made in the good old US of A. Guys, that's something that's becoming more and more rare in the bait industry. It's, it's a lot cheaper for you to produce your lures overseas. So it's always cool to see somebody that's doing it right here in the States. Now it says in the bottom corner of this that these are high floaters. I'm gonna just assume that that means that these are really buoyant. And it says that the color pattern is killer gill. So let's take one of these things out and we'll have a look at it. All right, guys, so this is a pretty cool looking bait. Uh, it looks like it's a mixture of a fluke style swim bait, but it's got the tail of a ribbon tail worm. I think this is gonna be awesome on Texas rigs. Uh, I think it's gonna work equally well if you put it on like a keel weighted swim bait hook and just swim it right back to you. This looks like it's gonna produce a ton of action. These ribbon tails, man, I love a ribbon tail worm. It's one of those guaranteed fish catchers, man. It's a fish catching machine. So yeah, guys, that's the baby Uber Shad from Excite Baits. Looking forward to taking that out and giving it a shot. All right, lastly, it wouldn't be a mystery tackle box if they didn't include some terminal. Uh, and that's one of the things that I really love about mystery tackle box. Terminal tackle is one of those things that we all need all the time. Uh, if you're anything like me and you, you lose a lot of lures when you snag, uh, you lose a lot of hooks. So it's great to have plenty of hooks on hand. Uh, it says these are three aught five inch stick bait hooks. This is cool. This is a company that I've never heard of before. They're penetration hooks, but down here on the bottom of the packaging, it tells you what the hooks are good for. So it says it's great for six inch lizards, five inch fluke style baits, five inch Cinco's and eight inch jelly worms. So it looks like these are really nice, heavy duty hooks. Um, the one thing about heavy duty hooks that you guys should be aware of is you don't get the hook penetration that you do on those thinner gauge hooks. You want to throw a heavy duty hook on a heavier rig, like if you're using a more stout rod, like a heavy action rod with between 30 and 65 pound braid, that's when you want to throw those really heavy hooks like this. If you're using lighter tackle, like if you're using a medium power rod, especially if you're using mono because mono has a lot of stretch, you want to go with a thinner gauge hook. Now those thinner gauge hooks are gonna give you a lot more hook penetration. So you're gonna be tempted to use that with your heavier rigs, like your, your heavy action rods and stuff. The problem with that is if you go to set the hook and you're using a heavy rod and you've got braided line, there's no give there. So you run the risk of bending that hook and straightening it. These heavier hooks like this, they're gonna hold up under that pressure. Now you can also look at that from the flip side. I probably wouldn't use these heavy gauge hooks on lighter tackle. The reason is that lighter tackle is not gonna give you the power in order to set the hook. These things are bigger around, so it's gonna be a little harder for you to penetrate that bass's mouth if you're using a rig that's got a lot of give to it. When I say give, I mean if, you're, if your rod tip is really soft and you're using monofilament line which stretches, it's gonna be a lot harder to set a hook like this. But anyway, guys, I'm really happy to get these. I'm gonna throw these in the terminal box and we'll try these out the next time we go. So there you guys go, man. As always, they sent us some cool stuff. You know, there's some things in there that I might not have necessarily bought for myself, but I'm definitely gonna have a good time going out and trying that stuff. Hey guys, if you wanna try Mystery Tackle Box out for yourself, I can help you guys out with that. Head on down into the description, guys. Mystery Tackle Box have given me a code. Uh, if it's your first time trying Mystery Tackle Box, go to shopcarls.com, pop that code in, and it'll get you a percentage off of your first box. It's a really good deal, guys. If you get the regular Mystery Tackle Box, I think it's only like $5 or something like that. You really can't go wrong on a box that only costs five bucks, guys. It's gonna be slam full of tackle, and probably just one of those items that it comes with is gonna be worth the $5. You don't have to make any kind of a commitment. You can cancel anytime. So if you get the first box and you decide it's not for you, you can just cancel. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching as always. If you enjoyed the video, guys, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Let's me know you enjoy what's going on here. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel. There's all kinds of cool stuff that I'm getting ready to start doing. Uh, I got a new segment in the works. I was just talking to somebody about it today. Uh, we're going to put some baits head to head in the tank over there. 
and uh, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Also, guys, head down into the comments section, man. Drop me a comment. Let me know what your favorite bait was out of this month's box. Thank you guys again for watching, and tight lines until next time.